The exhibition Damage Control, Art and Destruction since 1950 was organised by myself and uh, Carrie Brower. Um, I think the inception of the show came from a kind of awareness that both Carrie and I had over, the, over a period of years that um, in different ways the impulse, uh, a destructive impulse was, was at work in, in the work of a number of different artists, work that's quite different from each other. I think conventionally we always think of art making as a, an essentially, maybe the essentially creative process, uh, so it's always about making something, perhaps making something out of very little or out of nothing. But uh, for many artists, hand-in-hand uh, hand with that process is an interest in destruction, either in the sense that they need to destroy what has gone before to clear a way for their work, or in other ways the process of destruction is something that opens up other avenues of creativity for them. The title, uh, Damage Control, um, in English is, is a phrase that's used a lot uh, in, in a political context uh, when there's an, a crisis or some kind of uh, embarrassment. Uh, uh, we say that people are doing damage control when they try and repair the, the situation and uh, limit the, the negative fallout from it. In the context of the exhibition, damage control uh, in two words, I think, uh, in some ways conveys the idea of the show. On, on one level we have damage, destruction, things breaking, falling apart. In another way we have control, and by that I mean the control of the artist who looks at this material and he or she then goes ahead and reshapes it or uses it, turns it around in a way, 180 degrees, so that uh, what might begin as something purely destructive ends up being a new work of art and so in the end restores the element of creation to the process.